The Theory of Cookie Evolution Have you ever noticed that all cookies have differences? And have you ever noticed how there is a very wide variety of cookies? And have you also ever noticed that there usually aren't many cookies that taste disgusting? This all supports the theory of cookie evolution. The theory of cookie evolution is an explanation of where the wide variety of modern cookies came from. All modern cookies have a common cookie ancestor, just like how all living organisms have a common ancestor. One piece of evidence to support the theory of cookie evolution is that all cookies are similar, but also have their share of differences. For example, imagine you had a chocolate chip cookie and an M&M cookie. They're both similar, but also show many differences. The variety of cookies is shown in the origin of cookies. The origin of cookies compares the almost endless diversity of cookies to a massive tree. Some branches aren't so successful and drop off, but others thrive and even gi and even sometimes give birth to new sub-branches. Cookie selection is the driving force be behind cookie evolution. The cookie selection is very closely related to natural selection. Most bakers desire to sell more cookies and make more money in the process. Therefore, they will have a greater tendency to bake more cookies that people love. But if you're not yet convinced that cookies can change, here's a simple example. In the 1930s, a Massachusetts innkeeper ran out of nuts while making cookies. With her lack of nuts, she substituted a bar of baking chocolate, breaking it into pieces and adding chunks of chocolate to the flour, butter, and brown sugar dough. A Toll House cookie named after the inn it was served in was a hit. So to conclude, this is the theory of cookie evolution, the explanation of where the wide variety of modern cookies came from.